Today's pretty special on six meters. It's uh, November the 2nd, 2024, and it's a Saturday and everybody's on the air and we've got a receiver. Well, let's do the receiver. We have a receiver slice on 313. We have a receiver slice on 318, that's FT4. We have a receiver slice on 323, that's uh, also FT8, but for DX. And over here, we have another receiver slice on a fifth, on 5125. I'm watching sideband and uh, CW, uh, which we haven't seen much of because FT8 generally takes priority. And, and you can see we're seeing some pretty good DX coming in here north of Toronto. All right, so WSJT or JTDX, I've got FT8 here, FT4 here, 318. FT8 uh, again on 323. So how do I get these all running? By the way, there's Andy. Um, he's uh, up there. Oh, somebody's calling me. Well, we'll get back to him in a minute. All right, so how do we set this up? Well, the key to this is Slice Master. And Slice Master will generate uh, all these slices and get them running. I think we have a video on it, uh, but it's the key. And these tabs up here are A, B, C, and D. It says I'm connected to my 6600 uh, a computer by the name or a station name called Boathouse 2, and which is the same here as Boathouse 2. So that's how that all ties together. And all you do to bring up the extra slices is make sure that DAX is running and you have a slice, slice A, assigned um, to a DAX stream. And generally we go A1, B2, C3, and here's DAX channel one. And if we went down to this one and we bring up the display just by clicking on the B and you'll see that's assigned to channel two. And uh, of course that's channel three. And, and that's how you do it. It actually takes more time to arrange your screen after you've got this all running. And the beauty of all this is all of a sudden I want to go work a guy uh, on um, 50, say 323. I don't have to worry about my transmitter it automatically tracks. So who's calling CQ here? Let's call somebody. Um, let's call this uh, EI6 Kilo Bravo. Uh, how strong is he? He is minus 17. Uh, I'm finding today that there's so many signals I need a little stronger than that, but we're going to give him a call. Uh, we are in transmit. And um, of course, while we're transmitting, it affects the receivers on the other one. They're all muted. But let's just see if he answers this. But that's how you leverage... Uh, a 6600, there he goes, he, he's, he's got me, he'll be in the log in a second. And this is why you want to invest in multiple screens or a widescreen. This is like two HD screens, uh, the screens are getting inexpensive. So buying a computer today, you want to look, any, anyone's certainly fast enough to do all this. Uh, the key is the display, buy a good display card. And believe it or not, I'm running all of this. This is actually a remote desktop connection to a IBM Think Center at my remote. And look at that, he's in the log. And believe it or not, the, uh, the not to confuse everybody, I'm actually using my Mac um, to drive this screen, but it is a remote desktop connection to a Windows PC. And he's in the logbook. So there you go, that's how he did it.